I'm William Richardson reporting from the UConn Soccer Training Grounds where the UConn women's soccer team is preparing for their highly anticipated matchup against the fifth-ranked Florida State Seminoles tomorrow night at 7 at Joseph Marone Stadium. The team was looking great as we were able to film some of the practice today. We were able to interview Rachel Hill, Danielle Gatwick, and Coach Lenson Terrace and just essentially see what some of their thoughts were about the game, about how they've played so far in the season, and things that they need to do in order to prepare for the season. So let's go ahead and take a look, quick look at that. I'm here alongside Rachel Hill. Rachel, you had a phenomenal weekend this weekend. Talk about your hot streak and how you've managed to stay consistent so far. Um, I think just with the team, we've all been playing well and connecting, so I think that's a big part of it. Now, tomorrow you guys play against fifth-ranked Florida State. What are some of the special preparations your team has made going into the game tomorrow? Um, I mean, we've really analyzed their game and how they play, but most of all, we just need to concentrate on how we play our game and just do it to the best we can. Now, this team, you guys got a lot of young players. You're a sophomore yourself. So talk about how this team is different from the team last year. Um, we do have a lot of young players this year. And so they're still getting into it a little. But I think they've adapted really well. They understand how much we want to win. We want to do well. And I think just speed of play, we could still pick it up a little. But Now, being a, a quote young person yourself, you're a sophomore, how do you help these freshmen kind of get adjusted to the game speed? Because high school is a lot different from college. So how do you help them get incorporated into your guys' game plan? Just during practice, you need to go at them just as hard as you go at anyone else. I'm here with Danielle Gotwick, second leading scorer on the team, announced as the AAC Conference Rookie of the Week. So talk about how it felt to be announced as the Conference Rookie of the Week. Um, it was pretty surprising. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it without my team. and. I was just, you know, happy and thankful for it. I mean, you played phenomenal this past week. Sunday you had two goals. How is it, do, well, let me ask, does your confidence grow with every single game that you play? Yeah, and, like, I think every game we play, like, we just get more comfortable with each other. Like, our team chemistry just goes up. So I think we just get better every game. Now, you talked about team chemistry. How, is important, how important is it to have these type of practices before a big game? Oh, it's so important. Like, you get your tactics and everything you just so you're organized for the next game so you know what you need to do to come out on top definitely now as a freshman how are you adjusting to the team so far because as we talked to Rachel Hill earlier it's a, it's kind of hard to get the freshmen kind of incorporated to the team's game plan so how are you adjusting personally um i just like try to talk to everybody like if i don't understand something i just ask and everyone's pretty helpful they just help you out so what are some of the key points that you have going into tomorrow's game? You're playing fifth-ranked Florida State. So what are some of your key points in order for your team to win? It's to be confident, to go hard at every board, to fight for every ball, and uh, go forward. We uh, worked on a lot of things. Um, and I think uh, we just at this point, we go and play. I think we can play with anybody. We'll see tomorrow. Um, but we've been doing well. Uh, so far, we're scoring some goals, and um, we see what we do tomorrow. Absolutely. Then, yeah. Now, you mentioned your team playing well. You guys are on a four-game winning streak. You have a 6 one one record. So what are some of the keys that have helped attribute to that record? Uh, fighting. The kids, you know, they, uh, they work really hard. We, they get reward for working hard. We have changed uh, the starting lineup, and we change it every, every game because if somebody uh, works really hard at practice the week, earns uh, earns minutes in the game, and once he gets in the game and does well, they earn more minutes. Um, you mentioned the team adjusting the starting lineups game by game. So how do you do that without totally disrupting the vibe of the team? No, it's not a, a change in starting lineup. Um, usually you, you reward the player that signed the most. Absolutely. Yeah, so it maybe sometimes is one or two players really during okay. the week. Now, last year around this time you guys were five and three through the first eight. As I mentioned, you guys were six, one and one. So how do you keep this momentum going forward? Well it's we we, uh, we say we're taking every game and we fight as hard as we can for every game and for everything. We we wanna gain our identity back. We we're a very good team in the past and I think we can be a good team. Um, last year we saw some bright spots here and there but we're not consistent. Uh, this year we are, we're more consistent. Uh, 
We had a tough one at Penn State, but we turned it around the second half, and I think they learned from it. And I'm hoping that tomorrow that we carry on, that because they, they are a good team, and that we would play with more confidence. And uh, certainly we have to respect their abilities, but we have to fight and not, you know, think that we're uh, the underdog. We're going to fight for it tomorrow. Absolutely. So that wraps it up for us here. Hopefully the UConn Huskies can come out victorious. Again, the game is tomorrow, 7 o'clock, Justin Marone Stadium against the number fifth ranked Florida State Seminoles. The team is looking great so far. They have a 6-1-1 one one record on the season through eight games, and including an impressive 5-0 and record at home. Hopefully they can continue their winning ways. From the UConn Soccer Training Grounds, I'm William Richardson, and this is UC Sports.